Yeah. Hello, people. I'm Jabby Koi. Joining us is Achara Kirk. Hi there. We're about to review Jigsaw. Before we do, just want to say thanks to our sponsor for this video, CGV Cinemas. Check out CGV Cinemas in Buena Park, California. They've got the 4DX theater. It is awesome. They've got moving seats. It feels like you're kind of on a roller coaster. But it's not always like that. Sometimes it's a moving seat that just moves with the scene, just enhances the experience overall. You got wind effects coming out of your chair. <laughs> Rain particle effects if the scene's rainy. Smoke effects. I highly, highly recommend you guys check it out if you get the chance. Even if it's a bit of a drive, I'd say it's a worthwhile experience. Yeah. Check out CGV Cinemas in Buena Park, California, please. It's awesome. I strongly recommend it. Okay, so Jigsaw, let's get into this. This comes from IMDb. Bodies are turning up around the city, each having met a uniquely gruesome demise. As the investigation proceeds, evidence points to one suspect, John Kramer, the man known as Jigsaw, who has been dead for 10 years. Ooh, spooky. Full disclosure, we have not watched any of the Saw movies, and I'm not even into horror films. So this was an interesting experience, to say the least. My very, very first Saw movie. I don't imagine that you have to watch the other Saw movies to get what's going on here. I'm sure there is a certain level of appreciation that's missing by not watching the other Saw movies, but I thought it would be helpful to know where this review is coming from. I would say that if you are into the hardcore gore, gruesomeness, like that level of violence that is like really pushing the envelope in terms of horror, this is probably a fun experience for you. Mm -hmm. I'm not so much into that. So I was doing this for a lot of the movie. I'm just not into torture porn. Setting that aside, setting aside the grotesque horror, this currently has a 6.3 out of 10 on IMDb. I think on Rotten Tomatoes, it's hovering around a 50%. 50%? In terms of the story itself, what it was trying to do, it was trying to create this kind of murder mystery in a way. And I think that on some level, it was actually kind of effective, even though I'm not a huge fan of the story they did. Oh, it's a 43% on Rotten Tomatoes, oh, so that's probably informed by the fact that it's just not as good as Saw. But like, we didn't watch Saw, so I have no reference to compare. I've got no context except mm -hmm. for, you know, the zeitgeist. They tried to create this sort of murder mystery. There was this kind of misdirection happening, and I'm not gonna tell you how, obviously. Even though I saw some of it coming, I thought it was interesting, that aspect of it. That being said, I feel like there was a lack of a real clear story story of real character development. For me, it was more of just kind of stuff happening than a conclusion. Yeah, I would agree. If you're just into torture porn, if you're just into violence, then it doesn't matter. Like, it's still gonna be an interesting experience for you. Even though it's not a fantastic film, it's probably still a great film to take your date to. There's gonna be a lot of arm grabbing and oh my god. Yeah, Jabby was doing that to me the whole time. Is that not saying that out loud? So, <laughs> I so think that horror movies are the best type of films to take a date to because it will tell you right away what kind of person you're sitting next to. <laughs> Let's talk about the acting for a second. I think that with what the actors had to work with, they did fine. I yeah. think that the actors genuinely looked scared on screen. They definitely looked horrified. The director definitely worked with the actors to push them to their limits of fear. On some level, just a tiny bit, I have felt fear, but it was mostly fear out of I didn't want to see the shit. <laughs> I believe the actors. I believe that they were truly in a state of panic as blades were being thrown at oh them God. or, you know, they were being moved towards sharp things. The directing was fine in terms, it's like it's a horror movie. There's not much I can critique there because I'm not a horror movie guy. When I was looking at the screen, the shots looked good. <laughs> So, if you guys are just wondering if you should watch this or not, I would say that if you're not into horror movies, this is definitely not your cup of tea, unless you're taking a date, or you're trying to take someone that you don't like. <laughs> Leave them at the theater. You say, I'm gonna go to the bathroom, I'll be right back, and you just don't come back. I wouldn't watch it ever again. However, to its credit, after the film, Today, in fact, we were talking about it and trying to piece together yeah. the timeline and, there was and a where, debate. It, where it fits into the rest of the Saw franchise, even though we haven't seen the other movies, so we had no context with which to be debating. There is that. There is some discussion element that can follow the movie. To its credit, you know, it does provide that. So let's get into spoilers. If you don't want any spoilers, then walk away. Oh, I was gonna say, just earmuffs. Well, yeah, just earmuffs and keep watching us so that we get, you know, the retention rate on YouTube. Spoilers. <laughs> What we were debating about was the timeline of this film, and I was saying that this is kind of a prequel. What you see for half or most of the movie is actually taking place in the past, 10 years ago, with the actual Jigsaw. Right. It's not clear if this takes place before the first Jigsaw film or after. I mean, I haven't watched that. But just by virtue of the fact that 
today's 2017, and the story says 10 years ago this happened. It's approximately the same time as the first Jigsaw film. But it was also being recreated in the real time. And you were saying that it's a prequel, and I was arguing that, no, in fact, it was an origin story for, for the, the new, new soul. Yeah, but it's both. Yeah. That's what we concluded. That's, the conclusion. That was, that's what we concluded. It's, it's both. I started to suspect that the new Jigsaw was Logan Nelson, the forensic specialist, around the time that he started piecing together all the clues as to who the Jigsaw was. When he said it was the detective, I'm like, Mm, something's fishy here. And then he pulled the bullet out of the guy who was in the coma. He's like, look where he shot him, in the heart. And he pulls the bullet out, but he doesn't actually like show it to him as soon as he pulls it out. He does a little switchamaroo magician trick. He could have shown him any bullet at that point to fit the narrative that he was telling his friend. And then when they went into the Jigsaw house, I saw something that looked exactly like the table that Jigsaw uh -huh. was pushing around, but it looked age, like it, had been, it hadn't been used in a long time. That was the director's first clue that we weren't looking at the same timeline, that we were looking at two different timelines. Right. For me, the, the one redeeming thing about this movie that kind of piqued my interest was that kind of philosophical uh, mor morality aspect to it. But that's the thing that's been around since the first well, time. Well, exactly. Movie. So after watching this, I'm actually more curious about watching the first film and just cover my eyes. <laughs> I think the whole premise is unique and it does kind of make you wonder, like what would you do if you're in that situation? If you were faced with, you know, I could save everyone or I could be selfish. Sure, but I don't have a main character in this film to root for. I don't have anyone that I'm hoping survives because I know they all did something messed up. Mm -hmm. So really, what am I watching but a, a bunch of people get tortured? Yeah, it's a compilation of death. Right. That's not that interesting. That's what bothers me when I'm watching this. I just need something a little bit more traditional for some reason, and I'm not a, a traditional guy by any stretch, but for some reason I just needed a person to hook onto to go, I hope this person makes it through. I didn't hope for any of these people because no. you know that they're all messed up in some way. Well, I kind of hoped for Anna and then found out what she did and was like, oh, wow, because she seemed like a really nice woman. That's the thing that makes me frustrated with these movies, or the, this movie, I should say. It's this weird thing where they probably all carry with them a great deal of regret and now they're being punished in the most horrible heinous way mm -hmm. for this thing they probably already carry with them he's being judge and jury in the most horrific medieval way possible and i'm like why why should i get behind that i don't i, Time, I could get behind know? it if one of them raped like 12 women and the other was a child molester like it, right. the thing is like these crimes were bad but i didn't feel like they warranted this crazy level of torture when right. I'm pretty sure that their regret is built into them. I mean, maybe I'm projecting. The movie didn't actually say they had any regret. The fact that they weren't forthright about that information says to me that they had regret for these sins that they likely feel bad about their whole lives. We're getting into a whole philosophical debate. I don't know if, that move, if the movie's really I'm inviting that. that. <laughs> but it was cool in 40X, I'll give you that. I think I definitely, upped my level of enjoyment of the film. That's probably what made me even more frightened was just the <laughs> shit. Like, these chairs are shaking and making me more freaked out. I'm like, oh, I can't take it. I <laughs> liked it. I liked the, like, you know, the little vibrations when when things were getting clunky or when people were getting shot. And I really loved the, you know, the subtle movements as it was following the camera movement. That I liked a lot. That was yeah, cool. that was really cool. Yeah. You guys, thanks so much for hanging out with us. Please check out Achara Kirk on the social media. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you saw Jigsaw, let us know in the comments below how you felt about it. I'd be curious to know, especially if you've watched the other Saw films, whether you've only watched the first one or all of them or some of them. If you have any other context with which to pull, I would love to hear your opinion. That's it for now. I'm Jabby Kawe. This is Achara Kirk. Peace out.